Hello guys, welcome back to another video. Today, we're, um, wait. <laughs> okay, so today we are going to be playing Roblox City. I I've made a shop, do you want? Uh, link will be in the description. I'll show you guys it. I'll show you guys also how to make it. So first, we have a shop GUI. We have a shop frame. This is going to have, like, you can make this visible. And see, I, I only have one button. We have donation one. So if you guys want me to make this, I'll show you guys in a minute. But yes, um, so you have a purchase button. Inside the purchase button, we got a dev product ID and a purchase script. This entire script is going to, uh, the script is going to act. Is, so, my sister's here. What? What do you want? Can I have this? Go ask mommy. So we have local players at is, if the player uh, taps the button. That's mine. No, it's here. No, go ask mommy. Okay. Stop interrupting. Go. Okay, so this is telling it to get get the service marketplace service and and pretty much them to saying, oh, we have this guy who needs to get this. Can you get service, please? And then it does that, and then it asks the dev pro product ID to help come in. Prompt produce, purchase, and stuff. So yes, and then, <laughs> that, excuse me, that should make it work. Sorry, I have hiccups. So we have the shop frame and the text button. The text button is going to be the shop button. If you guys are wondering, I actually wonder, how do you make it curve? Just go in here and type in UI. And then something should be called UI corner. But I already have one, so I'm just going to take this one out. So, so yes, you can do that. And so, um, but yes, this will be in the description. So, time to uh, show you guys. Uh, wait. Uh, let me make this not visible. So you guys, we just make this not visible, and we play. So this should work. So if you press the shop button, it it should activate the shop, or it's going to make the shop visible. Let's go. Still loading. <laughs> so. Look. I just need to call tower defense for no reason. So you look, you guys can go here, tap the shop button. So now say close. You can tap donation one. Want to buy the prop donation for 50 Robux? You can buy it. And yes, and then it donates to me. So, um, sorry, it sounds like I'm glitching, literally. So, yes, I can literally pretty much screen record. So, uh, what? Well, Stop, I'm trying to do something. So, yeah, you can do that. And I can blow Baba. We can blow Baba. Go, go. Okay, go with Mommy. Go with Mommy. Go with Mommy. Let's go blow Baba. Okay, go with Mommy. Go with Mommy. Okay, I'll come out in a minute. Okay, so. So. Yeah, so. Um, time to start this entire thing over. I'm just going to leave some of the scripts. Uh, uh, in here, so, uh, so, uh, but yes, I'm going to leave the stuff to, like, these things right here. Oops. Um, so, and then I'm going to delete this entire thing. I'm going to delete this and pretty much start over. And we're going to take this group with us, okay, guys? So, we're just going to take that and delete that. So, first... I want to enter a screen GUI and call it. You want to go down here, name it shot, and then GUI. Or you can name it anything you want, to be honest. I'm pretty sure you can name it anything. So I'm just going to name it shop GUI, and you can enter inside the shop GUI a frame. This frame is going to be our shop. So we want to make this. Customize it, do whatever you want. So I'm just gonna put this in the middle of the screen 
most people put in the screen. So um, inside the frame, you can name uh, you can name this anything you want. I'm just gonna keep it as frame. Uh, um, and then later we're gonna probably have to rename it. So uh, yeah, name just name it shop. Yeah, yeah, you actually do need to name, name it shop frame. Please name it shop frame. So yes, and then uh, we so we can customize it like what's the background. Okay, let's say I want this to be like teal. Oh, I'm gonna give a link to the guy who helped me on this. He, uh, I've been really communicating with him over a little bit. So inside the shop frame, you want to uh, you want to enter some things. So first, you will obviously want to enter text label. This text label is going to be your shop white. This is gonna be like your like uh. This is gonna be like your shop label. So I'm probably gonna go here. You can make the background transparency to one. Um, and go to text. Make the shop. And I can text scale it. And then you can go to text works transparency, make that zero. Makes it different. And then Inside the shop frame, you you can also you can add like a like a text button. This text button is going to be your donation or whatever button you want it to be. So I just want to make a simple donation button. So and then you just like scale it. This is this. There we go. And inside we want this button to do something. So want to enter? Is it this button? No, it's not this one. It's a purchase group. You want to put it inside the text button. You also want to put the dev product ID inside the text button too. So, in this purchase group, you want to name it purchase group though. Um, type in oops, um, local player game dot players are local for. I told you guys about this group already, so just get in the content. The dev product ID. And th th this, you guys are actually going to have to change. So, let's say you have to make a dev product. I'll show you guys how to do that in another video. You have to put your ID right here. Um, and actually, to make one is actually very easy. Just go here, monetization, tab create, like you can read one. You have developer product to edit. I can make this like 100 Robux. Oops, I don't know, definitely not that much. So I'll just make it like a hundred Robux and then get donation. Oops, it's D donation. Um Okay. So then you can tap save. Wait, why did it not save? Donation one. There. And then uh, you can go back to here. Uh it's gonna say uh it's gonna have your ID right here. You wanna type this, copy ID, the clipboard, and then you wanna go inside the rev product ID, type your ID in there. So uh, my ID is, hey, uh, paste it, oops. So then, uh, you can also name this something like purchase, Button. That's what I named it. So then you can just name it that. And then now you want to actually create the button that opens it. So you want to go to what is that? Okay, so text button. This is going to be. Oh yeah, guys. You can also go to here. And if you want, you can go um, UI and you can enter a UI corner and makes your corner shorter. If you guys like that, it just makes the corners curve. So you can, I can just duplicate this, put this inside there. And then inside of here, you want to, you uh, there's a local script. You want to put the local script in. Or, so it's gonna, it's local frame. So it's saying the the frame. Uh, yeah, you're supposed to make it call shop frame. That's why. So it, it's saying if you click this button one time and connect in function. If the frame is visible, then 
make the frame is uh, saying if the frame is not visible um because true in, in, in this means false and false means true so it's saying if it's not it's not visible then make it visible and make the text called open right now then print the frame has been closed and then like the print is like in the thing so and then yes and it, it does do that so then you just enter that script and you should be ready to go. You just take the shop frame, get to make this not visible. And then, uh, oh yeah, I forgot to customize the button. So, um, text, make this shop, scale it. There, let's see you want that and just pl play. Like malfunctioning. Okay, finally is the loading. So, uh, so let's go. So it should load in like this, and you should be able to tap the shop button. It'll turn into a button that says close. You can tap donation. You can buy it. You can tap close, and it's gonna say open, close, open, close. And that's how you do it. I'll show you guys how to make. It. Uh, never mind. I don't really need to. Uh, uh. So yes, thank you for watching. I'll post this, um, I'll post all the stuff in the comment section. So yes, thanks for watching, and of course, like and subscribe. And bye.